Okay, so not having it back with another Game Caviar production. Home front. I'm back to home front. Back planning. And the reason why I went back to this game is because it has become very relevant to what's what's going on in the world right now. If you've played home front, you will understand what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, I'll explain it to you. In home front, the whole story was, um, the whole game was anchored on the fact that North Korea ended up... Um, attacking America and actually invading America well the way that happened is you know, it's kind of sort of like what's happening right now um, uh, the leader of North Korea Kim Jong-il dies and then his son takes over and he um, then goes about uh, reuniting North and South Korea and that that's just when that happens they just take over all the other countries and then they attack America I don't think that's gonna happen but it's kind of crazy how this game came out this year and then the things are starting to unfold just as the game had um had said i'm really not i don't want to sound like one of those uh uh what is it one of those apoc apocalyptic uh fear fear what are, what are they called what are, what's the name what are those people called conspiracy theorists I know, I'm not one of those people by no means, but it's it's interesting to see how this game is um, related to real life. Um, I just wanted to bring that up. And also, I, I started playing this game again because it's fun. This game has... I want to talk about this. This game has that fun factor that, that, that keeps people playing. I, when, and I haven't played this game in like, I'll say a month. It came out earlier this year and let me just let me just put this into um let, let me just say this there have been other games that have online components that have count that have come out recently that has an online community that has died i'm talking about goldeneye and goldeneye also has a fun factor too but the lag issues are what kills that game and the fact that it's not it didn't become it didn't really hold anybody's interest i played goldeneye online yesterday and the online community for goldeneye is shrinking rapidly this game came out way earlier this year and the online community is still as strong as it was it, it, um probably not on day one but it's still very strong and very healthy i did not have a problem finding a match in this game and you know what a lot of the things that, that cripple Modern Warfare 3, to be example, are not evident in this game. Now, there are very minor lag problems, but those things, they, they happen. They're very few and far between, and it, 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 it's, it's a non-factor. And this game is... Um, it has that fun factor that I talk about a lot. And a lot of people talk about it. And the fun factor comes up a, a lot of times when people talk about Battlefield 3. And how the game is amazing. And how it looks good. And how it sounds good. But it doesn't have that fun factor to, to take it over. For it to overtake Modern Warfare 3. This game has that fun factor. Um, it, it, it has a good online community. It has a, a lot of guns. It has perks. It has kill streaks. Um, it has um, it has variety. It has vehicles. This is what Battlefield Three should be like online. When 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 uh, when Dice and, and EA when they got together and they started developing Battlefield Three, they shouldn't have went after Modern Warfare. They shouldn't have been like, let's see how we can make it more like Modern Warfare. Let's see what other games out there that have that fun factor but aren't quite getting the attention that they deserve. And let's see if we can um, not straight up copy but take cues from that game. If Battlefield 3 was like Homefront, it would be a much better game because the maps aren't big. Um, it has this game. Homefront has vehicles. It has perks. It has guns. It it has you know a good. It, it has a um. It has team deathmatch. You know, and then it has the uh, uh, ground control, which is like um. Conquest and uh, it's like conquest and for modern warfare people. It's like uh, domination You know you it's three points in the map and uh, actually you know what it's more like conquest because you you have your three points And then you move up. Oh, is that rush? No, it's more like rush I don't I don't I haven't played battlefield 3 in forever But I think it's more like rush because you have three points 
and then you hold your points and then you move up to more points and if the enemy takes those points then you fall back and it keeps going back and forth but anyway i'm the point that i'm saying is that this game is fun this game has that 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 fun factor that a lot of games just don't have you know they just don't have that fun factor or if they do have that fun factor, they have other things that hold them back. Um, and I don't understand why. I, I, I guess I do understand why. Um, this this is just this is a new game. You know, this is the first year that it's come out, and it has a um, it it to me it has a, a sort of a cult following because. If you if you play the game and you look at the online community, it's still very strong. But yet this game has not had, it didn't have that much publicity to begin with. They had a strong initial ad campaign when the game was first released, but then after that it was like you know it went along. But with with this community being as strong as it is, I'm gonna say that it has a cult following of people that that really enjoy this game and really enjoy playing it. I enjoy playing it. And I'm I, I'm I don't have any plans on getting rid of this game. I plan on keeping it in the rotation because it's challenging and there's a lot to unlock. I I still have to unlock stuff. I'm still ranking up. I still have things to accomplish in this game. And I can play this game for an hour, an hour and a half, and not get bored and not get frustrated. I don't have the the type of um Issues that I have while playing a Modern Warfare 3. On back when this game came out, it was still Black Ops, and I still I didn't have the that that those type of issues that I have with Black Ops. These are the type of games that that developers need to look at and say, look, this this game is fun, and there's still a lot of people playing it. Why is that? What can we do to make our game fun like this? And I don't know the technical uh, specifications of why Modern Warfare 3 is the way it is. I mean. Of course, it's lag compensation or, you know, lag in general. Black Ops had lag problems and, and Modern Warfare has always had the uh, the unbalanced guns and, you know, like the FMG-9 and the Type 95, you know. Like I said, if you put steady aim on Type 95, you could use it as a damn shotgun. But um, I don't I don't understand the I, I don't I, I'm not a computer um, I'm not a game developer, so I don't know what goes in the games or what makes them like that. So all I can say is I can speak from a consumer standpoint, a person who's bought the game and played the game, uh, and, and, and I've experienced the problems just like everybody else. And I can say that I don't have these type of problems with this game. And I also want you to, um, I want to ask you all this. What, I mean, if you, if you were a developer, what would you do to to make sure that you deserve that you deliver the greatest product available because i'm sure that no developer wants to be second every developer wants to be first but a lot of developers fall short in one way or, an or another so my question to you is what would you do to um make sure that you deliver a product that is no doubt without a shadow of, of a doubt gonna take over the the number one spot in its particular uh genre and in this case first person shooters let's stick with first person shooters what would you do as a developer to make sure that you have a game that when it hits the market it it controls the market instantly it takes over the market there are no no other uh, there's nothing else you know there may be other games that come up before your game but they will never overtake your game. And I believe that um, Infinity Ward and the makers of Call of Duty, they had that. When, when Call of Duty 4 came out, they had that. It was amazing. Call of Duty 4 is one of the best Call of Duties ever created, in my opinion. And uh, playing Homefront, this game reminds me somewhat of Call of Duty 4. And that's why I like it so much because Call of Duty 4 was just very basic. You got your three, five, or seven kill streaks. You have your perks. You had your guns and everything. But it was just, you know what? This is it. You go online. You pick your gun. You pick your class, and you go battle. You know, and I mean, it had quick scoping and everything like that. But 
the the pros outweigh the cons in that game for me and ever since then call of duty has been on a downward slope and i think it's because the, the developers got complacent you know they were like you know we got call of duty we put call of duty on the first person shooter and we're gonna win no matter what because there's nothing out there that's that's texting us and that's and that was true for a while but you have games like homefront you have games like battlefield you have a lot of other first-person shooters that are coming up, like even Medal of Honor. If Medal of Honor and Battlefront were just like Homefront, then there would be no way, no way that Call of Duty will be able to keep the top spot. Think about that for a second. If you've played Homefront, then I'm, I'm hoping that you understand what I'm saying. Because this game has that fun factor. So again, my question to you is, if you are a developer, what would you do to make sure that you have the best game possible? Um, this video is almost over. Like, comment, subscribe. It's free, and it doesn't take you that long. Um, I'm not having it, and I'm out.